Monday sucked. Till we came. Allegedly. Hello and welcome to another episode of Allegedly NYC. I'm Nomi Ruiz. And I'm Ava Sanjurjo. And we are your go-to girls for all things NYC. Yes. Today on Allegedly... <gasps> We'll be covering our favorite mistresses oh. and the homes they've wrecked. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll be questioning monogamy, mm. bringing you 10 mistress tips to prevent you from getting spooked. Oh. And we'll be bringing you new music from classics, Banks and Steel, and Sex Talk Turned Size Queen. Oh, we have a full agenda. <laughs> Big fat one. Big fat one. <laughs> <laughs> we 10 are. 10 to 12. <laughs> <laughs> We're officially sp- supported by Wine and Spirits. Ah, yes. So let's jump into our wine of the week. Oh, right. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh, that's a good pour. That's a good <laughs> pour. What do we have today? Love? Okay. We're going to Argentina. Woo. Woo. And nobody's going to help me with the uh, the pronunciation because I keep on, I don't know what is wrong with me today. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Enemigo. Yes. And it's uh, it's supposed to be like really earthy and rooty. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to you're supposed to have with grilled meats and cheeses, and a and a good piece of beef. You like beef, don't you? How big is it? Oh, it's enormous. <laughs> but you know, it's all about the motion. It really is. <laughs> Not the size of the beef. Not that the size of the beef. Okay, I'm gonna pour Tell for us. It's marinated. <laughs> yeah, you love marinating. Going. I do love you marinating. love you love a good marinated situation, <laughs> you know Ziplocs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a hell of a week, hasn't it, girl? It's been a week. Are you exhausted? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted too. This girl texted me. She's like, "Girl, this week is crazy." I'm like, "Girl, it's Wednesday." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I am exhausted. What is going on? And we is t- Mercury retrograde? I don't know. It Wait, just finished. It, yeah, there, I have a moon it. calendar. I'm not <laughs> new agey. I just what have it. Don't judge me. It was a it's gift from Georgia. In, it's actually not in retrograde. No, it's not. We're supposed to be fine. <laughs> Girl. Is that that it was a bad week? That wasn't bad. It no, was, it was um, colorful. Colorful. I like yes. that. It was very colorful was and very eventful. Colorful. Eventful. Casting shadows. Casting shadows. Dodging trolls. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of hustling. And a lot of hustling. Well, that's that's a daily that's a daily grind. That's where the trolling's like, really girl, I'm hustling here. I'm, I got I'm working. I'm running around. I'm, I'm working. working. I'm making my dollars. Were you in a cafe like stalking me? <laughs> like while you're doing that. <laughs> I got bills while to pay. You're doing that, I'm get, I got bills my to checks. pay. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm at Bank of America. Yeah, I'm signing contracts. Yes. Anyway. So, so let's just jump right into uh, our first wrecked home. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, Ozzy Osbourne yes. has been accused of cheating on Sharon Osbourne. Oof. I mean, this actually, it's like, it's not very appealing or sexy to me for some reason, because I really don't, that household is just like, it's a it, mess. It's not really that appealing to me, but I well, mean, we're, we're, we have I mean, to report the news. We have to report the news and it's current and yeah. it's kind of silly just because it's, you know, I mean, I, at that age, I feel like if I'm still going through that kind of shit, then, I know. Girl, seriously, I'm if, done. like if I see my man, he's drinking in short and still getting his <laughs> dick sucked <laughs> at 67 by random trolls, I'd be like, I gotta get out of this situation. This is not like out for he's me. drinking in short and getting his dick he's sucked. He's just not that into you. He's just not into you. I think we should move along. You know, girl, I can't. <laughs> let's start your life now. Like <laughs> let's not end this this way, <laughs> girl. <laughs> E pray love. E pray love and bounce, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so Sharon Osbourne accused uh, Ozzy of cheating with uh, their celebrity hairstylist Michelle Pugh, who does all the family's hair. Oh, um, she's basically a family member. If you do my hair, we know we know each other for years. Then, yeah, right? I wouldn't be surprised if she was living. That's the thing; they have all these live-in things. That's a problem. They have nannies, hairstylists, no, 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 living no, no. in the house. No, it's like you leave for the day, you no. come back, you don't know what the fuck happened. No, if you're not my cousin, you're not staying with me. Girl, it's actually, like, we don't even let my cousin let me step with I'm me. I'm smell your dick. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be smelling yeah, dick yeah. every time you come you home. Do like, you could do like a like a black light over his pants, <laughs> make sure there's no spots. Girl, De- Dexter. <laughs> Dexter. It's like, so, <laughs> like, cough on this. <laughs> I can't. So, yeah, allegedly she caught, um, she approached him, he admitted it, mm-hmm. she discovered some phone calls and possibly some 
found out about some meetings. Oh, boy. Um, this isn't the first time that that's happened. No, this is not the first time the rodeo for both of them. Yeah. Allegedly. Well, no, they, it's true. She's, um, they both admitted to it. He was also caught with their nannies. Oh, God. It's the year of the nanny. Them. Two of them, girl. Gosh. It is the year of the nanny. It's the year of the nanny. The nannies are really, you know, I give it to you. You know what? You're really doing the damn thing. You really are doing it. I uh, can. Here, for all the nannies. You know, getting their it's not just a bonus check. <laughs> you get a bonus Hollywood peen, I guess. Jeez. Oh, my God. I mean, don't, you know, I, 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 be- I like a good office romance, but... <laughs> <laughs> this one shouldn't be. <laughs> so their daughter Kelly Osborne, she was uh, super pissed, and of she course. immediately transformed into a Twitter troll. Oh, here we go. And she posted on Twitter: "Anyone looking for cheap, chunky lowlights, a blowout, <laughs> and a blowjob?" I, I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, she posted a phone number Perfect. so you can call. Oh my god, I guess I'm good. I know where to go when I'm in Hollywood. Yeah. I love Wendy Williams. Like, well, we called. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, and the phone number was then blocked, <laughs> but we tried. Yeah, you know they would do she that. She was the first to call. Yeah. He's like, well, is it a 917 number? She's like, girl, use my phone now. Um, she, then her critics started to attack Kelly because she said, they said she should turn her rage towards her father, which I agree, which is a part of this conversation, which is like girls who they, yeah. always attack the mistress. Meanwhile, they're, they go back with the... The man who's doing the deed in the first place. Yeah, you're, you obviously you, you forgive him, you forgot him, but you still have to attack the the other woman who. It, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I, it takes two, correct? It definitely takes two. Yeah, you know she's not like masturbating to a picture here. <laughs> <laughs> she's bony man. So anyway, Kelly then continued trolling mm-hmm. and was posting pictures of lemons and talking oh, about gosh. making lemons into lemonade. Beyonce just ruined Christmas for Beyonce everybody. Beyonce has <laughs> turned the beehive into lemon heads. Gosh. I think from now on we should call every girl that stays with their cheating boyfriend, husband, whatever. Yeah. Their, any, anyone that stays with their cheating partner. Right. You are now going to be called a lemon head on Allegedly. Okay? <laughs> lemon so, head. I used to eat that candy. That was my favorite, actually. (laughs) (laughs) So speaking of lemonade, let's go into our next wrecked home. Beyonce, Jay-Z. That's wrecked home that... Allegedly. Like, it's what has a... Like a... a, Like a... a, What do you call that? This is a fantasy. Yeah, it is. It's all a fantasy. Yeah. So... I loved. I was. I was reading some reviews of her latest album, Lemonade. Right. And my favorite was The New Yorker, Mm -hmm. who said... Lemonade is an attempt at storytelling. And mm. if the personal sometimes overwhelms the political, right. that's to be expected. Okay. It's Beyonce's bid to be an artist without losing her commercial appeal. Right. I feel well, like that's exactly what it is. It's like it's a hundred percent that they, they I honestly hit it on the money with that comment. It's like you're trying to keep it real and then you're like, there's a limit. Yeah. Oh, of course. Cause we honestly, she's somebody um who in interviews is very private, you know, or in, actually her interviews are quite dull, but you know, when she's, <laughs> when she's about to promote something, she's like, hear me roar. I'm like, but are you talking? Is this a personal no? She never says anything. She ever, never says anything. Ever. Or writes anything. I mean, yeah. who knows? Yeah. Well, she, well, she for this album, she had 120 producers and songwriters. Well, s- somebody got work. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Points. Points. <laughs> Half a point. Um, I love uh, a, a mutual friend of ours. Mm. <laughs> Review was Beyonce sells black minds for blonde hair. Oof. And my personal review, Beyonce explores white sorrow through black power with <laughs> lemonade. Lemonade. Um, so we all know what lace happened. Lace fronts and lemonade. <laughs> lace, lace front cornrows, honey. So we all know what happened after the whole Becky with the good hair incident. Uh, they started attacking Rachel Roy, who was married to Damon Dash. Dash. And but allegedly, she's a, but she's an idiot because she should she 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 jumped into it. And you know those beehives are cuckoo for cocoa puffs. The lemon heads. The lemon heads. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so she, you know, she made her little slight comment, and they came har- buzzing, girl, or squeezing. <laughs> and we all we all know this tea's been brewing since the infamous elevator incident where Solange let Jay Z have it at the Met Gala. That was my that was the best week ever in my life. That was amazing. I call I texted everybody. I'm like, did you see that? I'm like, girl, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Solange <laughs> <laughs> went rogue. She went rogue in a dress. Well, Jay Z has finally responded to all mm. this lemonade madness oh, God. 
Um, and of course, it's via a remix. Of course it is. And it's on Fat Joe's new single with Remy Ma. It's a track called All The Way Up. All right. And of course, as the Stunt Queen couple of the year that they are, mm-hmm. th- uh, the track is available exclusively on Tidal. Of course it is. Of course it is. On the song, Jay-Z says, you know you made it when the factory marriage made it is worth millions. Lemonade was a popular drink and still is. Prince left his masses where they're safe and sound. We never gonna let the elevator take us down. Ay, Dios. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's like... All right. You know, he, the- he allegedly, right, he, <laughs> he he retired from rap, but he's always got something to, like, spew in here, here and there. When it comes to business, he's, he's all of a sudden we gotta rap about it, right? I mean, he's really just, like, following Beyonce's coattails now he needs lace front <laughs> <laughs> they have that now really lace front uh, for, fades for him lace oh fr- no <laughs> you gonna get like the arsenio <laughs> the lace front fade we're gonna post that on our in, yeah on our let's Instagram. do that let's do check that check out the lace front fade fad <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of uh affairs fat joe recently mm-hmm. He's, I guess he's coming out with some new material now with oh, title. Right. So he's got something to say. So he's got tea to spill. And he recently scooped that. the mystery behind some lyrics from one of uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s tracks, Ooh. I Got a Story to Tell. All right. The lyrics refer to him hooking up with a woman who dates someone who was playing on the Knicks. Oh. And so no one ever knew who it was. There were all these allegations. And mm-hmm. Fat Joe has put all the rumors to rest. All and right. it is... Anthony Mason. Oh, he passed. Rest in peace, yes. Yeah, so oh, so maybe they're maybe there maybe it. Yeah. They're, hopefully they're, they're drinking different. some Enemigo. Yeah, Enemigo. Speaking of, this is amazing. It is good. This is delicious. I kind of... Re- Cheers, girl. Mm-hmm. We deserve this. Mm-hmm. Going back to that week. Girl. <laughs> um, all right, well, we'll be back after this message from Jay-Z and crew. They got something to say. Here's all the way up. All right. I like to go down. Cool and dry. This is the remix for the city. Let's just start snapping. Crackhead, beat on the jack like, let's make it happen. Oh, it's me. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. It's me. Uh huh. All the way up. It's me. Uh huh. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Show it what you want. Show it what you need. What you need. My nicks run the game. We ain't never leave. Never leave. Never money, we ain't never sleep. never sleep. You got V12, I got 12 V's. V. Got bottles, got weed, got my. I'm all the way Shorty, up. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. need. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. Huh? Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. I'm all the way up. Huh? I'm all the way up. Huh? I'm all the way up. Huh? All the way up. Tell me all the way up, Dre. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. You know you made it when the fact you mash made it is worth millions. Lemonade is a popular drink and it still is Woo. Survival of the littest Niggas who really up verse Niggas up in your business I'm in the room where real niggas not allowed Woo. I'm the only one in the room that they fear right now Woo. I think they clear right now Let's celebrate no red champagne, we don't play that All we see is gold bottles and paper plane hats 21 Grammys that I use for Duce cups I'm on the penthouse floor, call your way up The OG said ho, how high is high enough? I said till we eye and eye with the higher ups Until we let them know we ain't those niggas Until our baby showered in gold, nigga Blue looking like Pac in the tub David LaChapelle levels are not giving a fuck Prince left his masses where they safe and sound We never gonna let the elevator take us down I'm all the way up I'm all the way up I'm all the way up Yo, pick up I'm all the way up Nothing can stop me I'm all the way up This wasn't me, this was God's doing And this time I won't finger roll Pat Ewing They ain't wanna see the squad in the rock Now they chasing the wraith like Mr. Softies on the block Stars on the roof, got a feeling like Venus Getting so much brain, now I'm a dog called a genius Ever since pump been gone, been independent So I went and threw the pun jump, man, up in the pendant I flooded out all the crises Out of Paris, I learned what real ice is I'm kicking flavor in your ear I just had a gray on my face and it disappeared I just dropped the biggest of checks and the shit cleared When everybody counted us out just this year uh, I'm Steph Curry in the clutch Take a shot of this royal elite And go all the way up I 
stole it back They mad, too bad, my shows is packed My town, my crown, I really rap I'm home, my throne, I spoil you that When the bitch was gone, they was really playing with it I was sitting listening like they ain't even saying shit Now the real is back, I see they all trying to change this shit But it's really too late now, I'm going back Go. One of these bitches, two of these bitches gotta die Three of these bitches, four of these bitches gonna cry Five of these bitches popping pills, they high None of them get fly See, I don't wanna hear about your records and big numbers Cause I was up top seven winners in six summers Cuffed all on that bus Locked me all the way down Now I'm all the way up I'm all the way up. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. Shorty, what you want? I got what you need. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All right, that was Fat Joe. Featuring Remy Ma and Jay Z. It's a club one, right? All the way up. All the way up. Honey, that's to go to Taj. Yes. Hold on to your purse. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, Remember girl. the last time we went to Taj? It was a second. Nomi put her purse down for two seconds <laughs> and it was gone. We were ready to go in. We were re- I, was, like, I, I was, put on my hair. I was ready to just go at it. I was ready to do the girl. running man. I was doing the butterfly. I was going to do it all. I was about to twerk upside down. Twerk up. I'm like, girl, hold my ponytail. We ran into Mariah <laughs> Lynn from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, I was like, like oh, hey. God. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, the infamous purse snatching. Yeah, your your passport, your phone, the whole for works. Everything. I know, I do that all the time. I know. Well, you had money for pizza that night. <laughs> we, we ate artichoke. on a stoop. I love an artichoke yeah, moment. Yeah, we, had a, and we found a stoop and we ate and we're like, girl. What a night. <laughs> what a night. <laughs> Reflecting. Exactly. So our next uh, favorite mistress. <laughs> well, this is also, this is, she's the mistress and the player. Right. Miss Kristen Stewart, honey. Yeah. I love her. I do too. She's like, fuck it. She gives me the most amazing bitch face ever. Most bitch. Yeah. She's very like early 90s. Girl. I don't know why she doesn't have like a Riot Girl band. I think of LA whenever I see her. Yeah. I'm like, that's who I think LA should be. Just like bitchy, grungy, but still cunty. Yeah. I I, res- I I respect her 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 besting resting bitch face. <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> well, Kristen Stewart was in a very famous and public relationship with Robert Pattinson. They were both like the you know the star couple from the Twilight exactly. series, and they're like the hot the, the America's it. sweetheart couple. Yeah, with resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, they both did kind of. They both had resting. Bitch yeah, they face. do. They were just pissed at the world. Yeah, but it's fucking I respect each that. other. Yeah. Respect. Um, well, during the making of Snow White and the Huntsman, Kristen was caught by paparazzi making out with director Rupert Sanders Girl. in a Hollywood car park. Girl, you gotta go to where's the Queens of LA? You go. I mean, she <laughs> thought she was being safe. She was like, "We're gonna go drive out here to the woods." Yeah, but these motherfuckers have zoom lenses. No, they have zoom lenses. They have zoom lenses as high as me. It's like s- <laughs> sniping. <laughs> yeah. Well, in an open letter, Kristen. Um, wrote to her boyfriend, Robert. She said, I'm deeply sorry for the hurt and embarrassment I've caused to those close to me and everyone this has affected. This momentary indiscretion has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person I love and respect the most, Rob. I love him. I love him. I'm so sorry. Well, we're just sorry you got caught. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got (laughs) caught. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm fired. <laughs> Am I not going to be in the sequel now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Because that was a check. I was going to get some more um, flannel, you know, girl. Rip shirts. No way it's done. <laughs> so, Christian and Stewart tried to keep their relationship together, but failed to make it work. Yeah. Um, Sanders' wife, Liberty Ross, or she, they were married. She wasted no time in filing for divorce. Well, she went upgraded. She married some rich ass dude. Girl, yeah. She's fine. I'm not worried about her either. She's she, gorgeous. She's with Jimmy Iovine. Yeah. Who is the guy who founded uh, Interscope Records. Well, there you go. He's, she's fine. Yeah. Um, 
he's also the guy that remember they he was promoting the the sh- Apple streaming service and he said oh. and they were like trying to focus on like women um, to get them as customers and, and everyone was so pissed because he said I always knew that women find it very difficult at times some women to find music we do and th- this helps make it easier with playlists curated by real people I reckon I can't play no music <laughs> are you fucking kidding me what are all these buttons <laughs> I like the hip hop. How do I find <laughs> hip hop? Where where does one go for hip hop? <laughs> Dumb fuck. Girl, I remember, I like, he had to he had to say an apology. He had to release an apology. Yeah, you do. Remember that commercial with Mary J. Blige? Oh and, yeah, um, yeah. And Taraji P. Yes, from I live. The, yes. Yeah. So that was they were kind of trying to. It, that went rogue. That went rogue. <laughs> like I've been, I I used to you, all the record shops that we used to you and I used to go through like three hours in there. I'm like, I know where I'm going. Yeah. You just back off. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know how to do this. I'm I don't know. <laughs> I like that country. <laughs> Dumb fuck. Oh my god. Oh well, my god. Okay, back to Miss Liberty Ross, who was the one who fled from her cheating husband. She married um, someone stupid. After she she quit her career, she put it all on the back burner to support his uh, directing career. Well, that's problem one. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, she said it was horrible. It was really the worst. The most valuable thing I can share is the importance of living in truth. Sometimes mm. facing those truths can actually be your worst fear. Trusting your gut is always the best thing. Right. Well, she's right. I mean, it was it was a humiliating. Yeah. It was it was probably really humiliating for her, and um, that sucks. Because when your man goes to work, you want to just, you know, I've been in that situation. No, I know you have. Like my last relationship was like, yeah, what the fuck? When you start unearthing things, you're like, yeah. what the fuck? I'm sleeping with the enemy. I'm like, yeah, at home with a stranger. It's like, girl, yeah. you're checking the locks. You're looking yeah. under your bed. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Yeah. That's you know, that's fucked up. Yeah, it is. And, I mean, the and, thing and to is be like, done publicly like that, it's awful. Yeah, that's it's, the thing. it's, it's Public- worse. Yeah, it's for her. It's awful. If for us, you know, we live it's very awesome. private life. It's <laughs> awesome because we get to really retaliate when we only want to. <laughs> and her's like, no, nope, I'm just gonna put on a good dress. I'm gonna go to a movie premiere and put on a good face. That's tough. That's what uh, actually Robert Pat- 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 yeah, Robert Patterson. He said the toughest thing for him was to talk about it then after to the public. Of course. He also he was kind of cool about it. He said shit happens. You know. It's just young people. It's normal. And honestly, who gives a shit? You know, well, obviously, it's not just young people because after Ozzy. After, I mean, hey, he's Ozzy's freaking having insurance and getting blowjobs, and these guys are having Zimas or whatever they, you know, Zimas <laughs> are back. And doing Molly, you know, or whatever the kids are doing, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Rupert Sanders allegedly is not over it. Oh, really? Yep. He allegedly fell in love with her a long time ago before he even laid a finger on her. Oh. Just one finger? Ah, I think it was two and then one in the, one in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to anal talk. <laughs> and he's finding it difficult to shake. He's devastated that they can't be together. Well, she's in a lady paw now. She has erased that whole situation. Yeah, she's like, I'm, I'm into vag now. It's just like, I'm just, that's a, she's in a whole new chapter she's in her life. Spirit. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Okay, cute. She's well, fine. She's fine. Moving along, I guess. Moving along next on our wrecked home list, Miss Wendy Williams. We love her. We love Wendy Williams. We love Wendy Williams. But you are a lemon head. <laughs> yes. So you're part of this conversation. Exactly. Um, we all know our favorite spill queen, Wendy. We of love course. her. Yes. Uh, well, she's married to Kevin Hunter, who is also doubles as her manager. Mm. Kevin was exposed for cheating on Wendy. Oh, right. She talked about it on Howard Stern once, I remember. Mm, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Go on. She's, um, she was spooked after she threw a bit of shade at Evelyn Lozado of mm-hmm. the Basketball Wives TV yeah, show. Yeah, Um, She was throwing shade because she, Evelyn's married to Carl Crawford, who is a baseball player worth $142 million. Dang. And during Wendy's Hot Topic segment, she said, I want to congratulate Evan Lozado. Evelyn gave birth to a cash register. I mean, a baby boy. With her fiancé, Carl Crawford. Wow, that's shame. <laughs> um, Evelyn then shot back with a tweet saying, since you want me to open Dulce in LA, which is her, her shoe store oh, that right. she has of course. in Miami. 
She's um, a Bronx girl. Wah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She says, maybe your man can come to that store too to purchase shoes for another woman like he did at my Miami store. Ooh. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Kevin was cheating on Wendy while she was still pregnant. Dang, that sucks. And she had a trouble with pregnancy. So when she finally got pregnant, her man cheats on her. That's like... Girl, men will do whatever they want, whenever they want. No, I understand that, but shit, she went through like two miscarriages, and she's finally pregnant, bedridden. He's like, "I'm gonna go out get milk. (laughs) (laughs) I'ma smell your (laughs) dick." I mean, you know what? It's like because I this is I always have this strange perspective on this situation because I can understand men's chemical up bringing in a way because yes. I've had testosterone in my body so yes. I know that violent thirst when you're like <sighs> horny and it's like yeah. you have to just do what you gotta do to get it out of your system and it's the testosterone so thing yeah <laughs> sorry I just got really horny just think of that <laughs> I mean but it's, so, it's sometimes like it's yeah like, and then what happened <laughs> <laughs> well then I changed and now I have like it's like the total opposite just all Is estrogen <laughs> It's definitely settled it's def- down. Yeah, I know. You, you, it's definitely settled she's down. She still has fun, though. I have my fun. <laughs> but I'm not like... It's more um, mental now. I have yeah, more control that's, over my... Well, that's very... I'm hormone, the same way. You know? I'm the same. Everything is mental. Yeah, like I get horny. I see someone I think it's hot. But yeah. I have control over it. As before, I would just be like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Teeth out. Teeth out. It's like he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> very true blood. Um... Well, Kevin was allegedly cheating with Miss Monica, a.k.a. Mistress Terry, Mark. who was a trans woman, mm-hmm. who was a sex worker. Okay. And after these allegations went public, she went missing. Oof. Now, I try to find more information on if they found her, if she was... Anything. Anything, and nothing came up. So who knows how far underground this story has gone after. Hopefully she's okay. Hopefully this is not another... Shalimar allegedly situation. situation yeah allegedly allegedly yeah 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 that's that's uh pretty fucked up yeah if that's the case well Wendy is officially she's I think the queen lemon head in today's of yeah, today yeah because she has been very outspoken about accepting the cheating and being with him she has many times yeah many times she said if you told me that I would stay around for a cheater I would have been like you're lying I've got way too much to offer a man to stick around for him to cheating on me. But I did, and I don't regret it. The best advice that I can give is forgive and forget, either way. For people who do cheat, unless you are cold busted, take it to your grave. All right, well, I don't know. I I, I have mixed feelings regarding that because uh, uh, when you come off as such an empowered woman and and you know n- take no shit attitude it's hard for me to take you seriously sometimes yeah i don't know that's just me if you're going to if 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 you're going to like project that and you're i am woman hear me roar and then and, and then at home you're like stand by your man no matter what I, yeah. I, I don't know. It's kind of old school. It's very old school. And she has a lot of very traditional views on a lot of stuff that yeah. I, I find kind of surprising. Well, Beyonce's I, the same. It's like, yeah. she's kind of projecting the same message. Like, stand by your man no matter what. Yeah. And it's like, for me, you know, cheating, I didn't make up the, the laws of life. No. Like, shit happens. Shit does happen. We can't control who comes into our path. We can't control what's going to happen. But what we can control is our level of honesty. Absolutely. It's like when I was in the situation with my ex-husband. Yes, I was married. Yes. Divorced. Divorced. (laughs) Just once. So far. So far. Night's Um, so young. (laughs) But I was uncovering some of these secrets and the thing that bothered me was just the secrecy and it didn't really bother me. And the work that that you put into yeah, it just creeped secrets. me out how how much um, someone can be deceiving to someone. Right, right. And even even then, I said, okay, do you want an open relationship? Like I yeah. was willing to compromise because you know yes. I have my needs too. Absolutely. And I have a different view of monogamy, where it's like, right. I don't necessarily have to be the only person you're having sex with. Right. But I just would like to know that we're being honest with each other and yeah. that we both Let's have, have an open. F- we both have the freedom. Yes. To explore our sexuality in whatever right. way we want. Right. And right. I think that would make makes partnerships better. Absolutely. And I do. I I've I've seen couples who have thrived and moved on from 
scandals like this, like at home scandals, whether it be cheating or uh, emotional affair or whatever, mm-hmm. some some people can thrive and can look over it because God knows what hap- what's happening. You know, it, it, it could they could have a rough, rough patch or whatever it may be. But it's like it, it's. It's a situation where it's 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 very situational. Yeah, it's, it's like, very it's, situational. It's definitely situational. Yeah, it's definitely your damn business. Yeah, but you know what? If there's a if there's a way to hide it and not make it public, great. If I mean, it really oh, yeah. depends on who you bone. Because my mother bo- also said the same thing to me. Like, yeah. if you ever cheat, this is my mother talking to me. <laughs> if you ever cheat on your boyfriend, mm-hmm. take it to the grave. Yeah, that's the that's the, yeah. <laughs> that's the motto of the, of the. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Is a sandwich for me? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to get involved in all this messiness, mm-hmm. at least we want to give you some really, really tough advice. Yes. So here we have 10 mistress tips to help you <laughs> not get spooked. <laughs> bum, ba, da, bum. Ooh. Was that Tinkerbell again? <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by allegedly. Allegedly. Go. So tip number one. Yes. No red lipstick. No. Or actually, no lipstick at all, for that matter. <laughs> at least in the bedroom. If you insist on wearing lipstick because you, are, you know, you're feeling cunty, you're uh, on your like yeah. secret date, mm-hmm. um, I suggest bringing a bottle of Botanics All Bright Soothing Eye Makeup Remover <laughs> in your purse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this one works great. It's because it has oils in it and you can wipe it off without right. a trace, honey. That's the, the theme of all this is leave without a trace. No evidence. Never happened. Number two. (laughs) Tip number two. No perfume or scented lotion. No. Do you want to be as raw as possible? Never leave a trace. Not that raw. I mean. (laughs) (laughs) You want to do all the forensics you can do. Damn right. Watch Dexter. (laughs) Basically, when he cleans up a crime scene, put plastic everywhere. Everywhere. You got duct tape and plastic, do it. Put it. (laughs) Use it. Mistress tip number three. Mm-hmm. Never brush or comb your hair in the bathroom. Oof, hair everywhere. Girl, if you do, wet a paper towel and sweep the floor with it to pick up all the random stray hairs. Thank you, Anonymous, <laughs> for that tip. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Anonymous. <laughs> we owe you a drink later. Yes, we do. Tip number four. Mm. Oh. Never call, text, or email. No. If you do, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> even your trash folder, even your archives folder, and don't forget that silly scent folder. <laughs> if you must message for whatever reason, keep it formal and create code words. Like, you left that folder in my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> I don't know. I just made that up. Folders. Folders. <laughs> you busted a folder. <laughs> Tip number five. Mm. Oh. If you want to use lube, we suggest Sliquid. Uh, Which we reviewed in episode one. And why do we use liquid? Because it's stain free. And you fly across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number six. Yes. Never oh. use a business account or any credit card for that matter. Always pay cash. You never want evidence on your bill. Yes. Accept it, accept it, denied. <laughs> <laughs> Declined. Declined. <laughs> Tip number seven. Never ever wear glitter Anywhere. Oh, glitter's the worst. It's the worst to get off. Especially on a dick, I could assume. Girl, I, I had can't to get it on my time. cheek. I, we're watching a, a comedy show, whatever. We're cuddling on the couch. <laughs> Blinding me from the side is just a little speck of glitter. Ah, uh, evidence. And you know I was like... Where'd you go last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my shady ass didn't, didn't say anything. And I went somewhere else. <laughs> it's like, I gotta go. I was like, you know what? I'm a my mom's tired. sick. Yeah. <laughs> Uber? <laughs> <laughs> number eight mm. be careful with forgetting <laughs> earrings or jewelry of any kind scrunchies. left behind and scrunchies scrunch- that's true bobby pins <laughs> scrunchies <laughs> oh for you around the way girl <laughs> tip number nine if you're at their place which i never ever suggest you do Ugh, put no. your socks and underwear in a corner table or somewhere where you won't lose them Never toss around randomly in the heat of passion. You want to avoid that little black hole where all we all have lost one sock. Or penny. <laughs> Hello. And tip number 10. Mm. Never fall in love. 
Good luck with that one. <laughs> Good luck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't David Letterman do these top ten? <laughs> He's not as clever as us here at Allegedly NYC. Cheers, bitch. We got your back, girl. Don't forget, February 13th is Mistress Day. (laughs) Get those red panties pressed. (laughs) So this month, we are gearing up for Borough Gypsy to be released. The Borough Gypsy Mixtape Part 2. So we're going to play a little song that goes with our theme today. (sighs) From Bro Gypsy One, yes. which is Maybe She Suspects. Let me tell you about this really quickly about this song, though. <laughs> when I first heard this song, I was like, we were at dinner at my mother's house. And I, I was, I, I don't know why, I was, I, I had the song in my head. And I just looked at Nomi. My mom was there, my whole family's there. I'm like, <laughs> you have a filthy mouth. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Well... So. The lyrics are available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if you must get more detailed into the story. Exactly. Well, here it is. Maybe she suspects. My fave. Bro Gypsy 1. 1. You're listening to Allegedly NYC. Maybe someday I know that I'll be leaving you both in your books. Hello, this is 
That whole name know me <laughs> with maybe she suspects resident ho <laughs> <laughs> resident ho cheese spiller. <laughs> if you want to pick up a free copy of maybe she suspects, go Ooh. on SoundCloud and nice. check out Burrow Gypsy mixtape volume one. That's one of my faves. We're now going into our new music segment. Yes. And first up is Classics featuring T Pain with Whatever I Want. Gorge. Now, Classics, they've shared a couple of tracks of their new album, mm-hmm. which is titled Far Away Reach. Gorge. It will be released on June 3rd via Innovative Leisure. Mm-hmm. The album not only features T Pain, also Passion Pit and Alex Frankel. Nice. They recently released a video for Whatever I Want featuring T Pain. The video was shot on a GoPro. And it happens to be a shot-by-shot remake of the Smiths' famous 1987 video uh, for Stop Me If You Think You've you Heard This, this One before. before. I am a huge Smiths fan. I know. So, I too. Oh, my God. So, yeah, the video is like they redid the whole video frame by frame by frame. Like, it's the exact yeah. video. Do you remember when you uh, sang uh, last night, I dreamt that somebody loved me? Oh, my God, I did. I cried like a little puppy. That was cute. That I was so cute. cute. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Precious moments. Precious moments. With no me and Ava. <laughs> As we're drinking. I know. Uh, the director described the video, um, the inspiration behind it. He said, it was inspired by the song's attitude towards doing whatever I want. T-Pain's well-chronicled struggle with depression, the shared oh. sadness of Smith's fans, and how through all the depression and sadness, when you look like Morrissey, <laughs> in whatever way you can, everything is going to be okay. You get that from Morrissey. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love his music so much. It's like the best. I mean, it really puts you in that mood of like teen depression. It's so sarcastic. It's so sarcastic. It's like, I love this, but this sucks. <laughs> um, I actually was supposed to collaborate with Classics once. Oh, yeah. And they sent me a track and I wrote a song to the track. Nice. And then one day I had, I had to go by the studio to pick something up. Yeah. And I heard the track playing and someone else was singing over the track. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitches. <laughs> I, I mean, I was a little annoyed, but it, I, it, I, it, at you're the end fine. it was funny. Yeah, and you're fine now. I'm fine. <laughs> but anyway, we love you. And here wow. is um, Whatever I Want by Classics. Enjoy. You're listening to Allegedly NYC. Put your hands up.
That was classics with whatever I want. That's pretty dope. Nice little summer jam. Yeah. Up next is Banks and Steel. Mm. Sorry, Banks and Steels. Steels. With a Z at the end. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 the track is called Love and War and it features my baby daddy, Ghostface Killer. You love me some Ghostface. I mean, I swear to God, that man could do no wrong in my eyes. You really can't. I don't know what it is. And he was on like celebrity like couples therapy too. And you still were like, Ghost I still... Face? Yes, he was, girl. No, he wasn't. Yes, he Ghost was. Ghost Face Killer. He Shut was up. on fucking <laughs> oh God, couples <laughs> therapy. I love it. With two girlfriends and one with, with <gasps> the mistress. <laughs> he was with his girlfriend and then he, in this couple story, brought his, his mistress. Shut up. Yeah, we're gonna find. I'm we gonna find to that find for that. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I mean, that made that made me love him more. I'm, I'm fucked up. <laughs> You're fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> it's Why like, do oh girls like bad boys? Well, because they fuck better <laughs> and make it for good press. <laughs> <laughs> so Wu Tang Clan's The RZA and Interpol's Paul Banks have announced a new musical collaboration, calling themselves Banks and Steels. Right. They released their first track together. The song is called Love and War. And Riza has explained the meaning behind the song in a statement which says, For love, sometimes we find ourselves at war, and the combatants may do anything to win. Mm. For me, love is worth fighting for, as long as love is not lost. Lost and lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Riza. All right. He's, Riza's gone soft. I know. It must have been that couple's therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostface is like, yo, we gotta start treating these ladies right. Yo. All right, we're here is Banks and Steels with Love and War featuring Ghostface Killer. You're listening to Allegedly NYC. Yeah. 
There's no replacement, face to face, waste embrace and men chase the taste that most will get strunk from the first engagement. Better on a downtown street down east. Now it seems she's always around me. And her love has astounded me, bound to me. There's no way I can break free. A servant to a will. I'm a merchant to a field. I poured my heart out. And she let my love spill. Out on the floor, the love changed the war Both trying to win, trying to claim the law Infatuation, warped the fabrication Passion kept alive through imagination Opposite sides, attraction collided The collision was a bad decision Two lovers trapped in one prison Trying to separate like nuclear fission She's bitching, I'm bitching She's switching, I'm switching She's talking, I'm not listening I'm bitching about her in the kitchen All is fair in love and war I love that track. Oh, that was cute. I felt like I was in a Quentin Tarantino movie or some Hello. shit. That was hot. That was Banks and Steels. That was cute. With Love and War featuring Ghostface Killer. Love it. And now we're going to get into a little DJ dish. Ooh. This is a personal favorite of mine. Oh. Ellie Escobar. We love him. He is one of our favorite New York DJs. Yeah, I think, you know what? He is, I. I really do love dancing to everything that he does. I, he's always getting me to dance for. I mean, we danced till the lights came up last week. Oh my God, we did. Was that last week? That was last week. At you, Black Flamingo? Yeah, you scored a hot guy that night. Oh my God, he's so hot. Yeah, I scored a drink. <laughs> <laughs> it was free. It was free. <laughs> well, <it> worse. <laughs> oh, <but> t- <laughs> My bad. <laughs> well, Ellie and um, Blue Gems, they're together. They have Night People record yeah, label, right? And they had a, a party at Black Flamingo, and it was awesome. Oh my god, so much fun! Well, Ellie Escobar, he's one of the founders of Tiki Disco. Oh, and like I just said, he's also sparked up Night People record label with Blue Gems. Awesome. They also work together with. Uh, they have their Delancey Music Service show. Oh, cool! Yes, yeah, yeah. Ellie and I have worked together many times before. Yeah, you got you. I think you're a great team. We have a good collaborative spirit. You really do. Yeah. You really I do. I really love working with him. Yeah, you have a. He's it's great. It's one awesome. of the producers who's always really like supported my sound, supported yeah. me just as an artist, and I really love working with him. It's so easy. It's just like it just makes sense. Yeah, you. It, it really does work, and you guys. There was a couple of favorites that you you two have done together. Yeah, like we yeah. can just do albums and albums yeah, together. We had yeah. a song called out called. Uh, Desire. That was actually when I first met oh, him. Oh yeah, that was actually yes. That's right. That's the first time I I met him as well. And yeah, yeah. During that, 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 that video, I remember. Right, right. That's where we also yeah, met James. We, yeah, and he gave us some oysters. That was the first time I ever had oysters. Oh. Um, anyway, we'll be talking about that later. <laughs> <laughs> and we also did a cover of Mark Ronson's "Somebody Love Me," which featured Boy George. That's honestly one of my favorites. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but if you're if you can. <laughs> Can you just sing the beginning of that song? Oh my god! Please, just just the beginning. That's all I'm asking. Because it really, look, we're going out tonight, so that will like kind of put me in the mood. I don't want to see you go. I need somebody to love me. That's all. That's all, <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> well, Ellie has. He released his first full-length album, which was called Up All Night, Cute. which was like the album that me and Gabriel would play before we went out 
every Aww. night we just play that record to get ready I did right. makeup he'd put on his clothes we'd Aww. go out if we were at an after party at someone's house that we would put that up it was just Let's like our it. anthem for for that for summer for the night to come um, well Ellie's working on his sophomore solo album cool which I had the honor of sprinkling some vocals throughout. Oh, right. It's going to be out hopefully later this summer. It's like waiting, waiting. I'm waiting. We're waiting. I'm asking him every time I see him. I'm like, when's it coming out? When's I it know. Out? Um, he's busy. He's got tiki's. He's got gigs. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. We love that. He is going to be DJing the Defected Croatia Festival on August 14th. And on in the same lineup is Honey Dijon. Oh, cute. So that's a cute... That's the night to go. Yeah. I really, I really want to try to get out there. Oh, for yeah. more information on where to get tickets for, for that, you can go to defected.com slash Croatia. Cool. And we're going to play a track off of Ellie's first album, Up All Night. Mm. This is Visions by love Ellie it. Escobar. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hello. All right, check it out. We're going to start it off right now and start our show with a little something like this. We didn't come out and do the things we're supposed to do, but we're going to start it off. I came a little late, but you know. So check it out. Right now, I'm going to sing a song that goes with our routine. And check it out, party people. The song goes a little something like this. You're listening to Allegedly MSC. Allegedly. That was Ali Escobar with Visions. And now we're going to move into our nightlife and events section. Nice. The first event is something that's very, very interesting to me and sounds amazing. It's a party called Push Yourself, mm. which is going to be happening on June 1st. It's a Ray Band and underground electronic music media powerhouse Boiler Room are partnering with Ghetto Gothic for Push Yourself, an exclusive 18 to 21 year old affair aiming to give younger club aficionados the first can't miss turn up of the summer. The event will feature emerging artists who have pushed themselves and their communities to make their unique sounds heard around the world. Gorge. It's going to be held in the Bronx, which is the Book part that I love. It sounds so dope. My home. Um, Away from home. They wanted to held, hold it in the Bronx because they want to keep things close to home for the Ghetto Gothic crew. Forge. Which uh, is like young, ultra hip, and largely New York based. Uptown, baby. The 18 to 21 year old age limit is in place to encourage a spirit of newness while simultaneously providing a space for fans to see dope artists and DJs that they might otherwise be too young to access in the downtown clubs. Mm. The lineup will be curated by Venus X and the Ghetto Gothic crew. 
Well, to RSVP for this event, you must go to boilerroom.tv slash ray dash ban slash bronx slash. I love this. This, this sounds, sounds so much fun. I'm yeah. so down for this. I know. But this sounds amazing. I guess only I can go because it's 18 to 21. Right. I hope they don't ID you. <laughs> 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 well, we're gonna put. I guess we can drink. <laughs> Sponsored by. Sponsored. You can drink our wine and spirits. Uh, well, we're gonna put the RSVP link in our on our Twitter, on our Facebook, all around, so you can check that out. Awesome! That sounds like fun. Yeah, that does sound amazing. Yeah. Any reason to go to the Bronx? Is I, yeah. Take me to Six Train, honey. Hello. Next up is Bath House, uh. which is a Voss event. Oh, fun. At Fire Island Pines. Oh, here we go with the pines again. Hello, back to Fire Island. Wow, it's the summer. The legendary pavilion at the Fire Island Pines has been converted into a 70s-style bathhouse and will be having a weekly Friday party, which actually, it began on May 27th. So it's already happening. Every Friday, you can hit up this party on Fire Island, the Pines. Um, At the party, you can enjoy towel dancers and Roman bath artists. Finally. Massage (laughs) treatments. Ugh. And explore dark rooms beneath the pavilion. Blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> they instruct you to enter through the gym. Of course. <laughs> this is clearly a party we're not invited to. We're so not invited to this. <laughs> we're so not invited. <laughs> we need a but dick. Maybe, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can get on the decks or something, DJ. Let's maybe. We hit up Brandon. We try, try, because... Um, it I sounds guess it'll be like I, fun, though. Sounds like I'm going to be waiting outside for you. <laughs> I just, we need to spill some tea there. Um, next up was going to be the Brooklyn Mirage. Oh, well, yeah. the Brooklyn Mirage opened this past weekend, and it was going to be the home to the New City Fox Experience. Of course. It has 180 bathrooms, 28 entry stations. The security was specifically chosen to keep things pleasant and efficient. That's not fun. The- <laughs> <laughs> There is also going to be five food stands, including a vegan option. Ugh, just kidding. I'm just, I'm, no, I love and vegan food. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Eleven bars scattered throughout the massive complex. Well, now we just picked up my mood. <laughs> <laughs> a general store will even be offer essentials, including sunscreen and insect repellent. I, I am allergic to mosquitoes. There are palm trees throughout. Cute. 15 massive HD projectors. Oof. Three main stages. I'm exhausted. Girl, this <laughs> sounds crazy. I'm like, I will lose you. They, they well, say, you can't even find me. There's 180 <laughs> bathrooms. Find which one I use <laughs> them doing coke from. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Like, maybe in the bathroom. Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say it was supposed to be a happy marriage between a giant festival experience and an intimate night spot for partying with your close friends. That's not intimate. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> There's 180 bathrooms. I could already see some, like, Burning Man hipster wanting to have their wedding there. Girl, if I see a backpack and, like, furry furry boots, I'm going to (laughs) go. Anyway, it's already been shut down by the city. Oh, great. I didn't have to put on my makeup. (laughs) Well, they pulled the party the other night at midnight. The fire department came, shut it down. They said the place was full of combustible materials. And they didn't even have enough staff to, like, they said it was a disaster waiting to happen. Now, great. Now I want to go. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it reemerges. Hopefully they get all they their, get their shit together, right? together, because yeah. it sounds kind of awesome. It sounds kind of fun. Now it I want to go. It sounds like a place to go trip. Yeah, exactly. I'm or so down. be there for 10 minutes, but like, I gotta go. Exactly. <laughs> to the bathroom. Either or. <laughs> Next up is Momus PS1. Oh, They've cool. announced their lineup. We all love PS1. Yeah, I do Alana have fun Heist. There. Yeah. Running the game there. Cute. Uh, so, a few events that we have selected here that we think you would be interested in is DJ Premiere with Bearcat on June 11th. Gorge. Danny Crivet with Nancy Wang on June 18th. Fierce. Our homegirl Juliana Huxtable on July 9th. Gorge. And our sister Maluka Mala on July 23rd. Fabulous. There's also many, many, many more dates and so many artists. It's full listing. You can check it on momaps1.org slash warm up. Warming uh, it up. Hello. Hello. Keeping it hot for the summer. Yeah. Uh, last on our event list is BAM, where I will be performing at the Every Booty Party for Gay Pride. God. The event is going to be held in the beautiful four level Fisher space. Oh my God, I just already thought of an outfit for you. Girl. I already thought of an outfit. Let's yeah. Get it. Yeah. 
Um, it's um, going to be on, it's on June 25th. I'll be headlining. So get your tickets. They're available now. You can go get them at bam.org slash every booty. Well, this is going to be a good gay pride. Girl, pride's going to be fun. Fire oh my Island, God. Headlining gigs at BAM. That sounds like so much fun. Ellie, what you doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So next up, we have our nightlife star of the week. Yay. Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Amanda Lepore. We love Amanda. We love her. So Amanda Lepore is the self-proclaimed world's most famous transsexual. She and is. The most expensive body on earth. It is. <laughs> she was a regular member of Michael Alex's Clubland Circuit. At Limelight's Weekly Disco 2000. Cute. She modeled for Jean Paul Gaultier. Yes. She's the muse for David LaChapelle. She for had her years. own swatch watch. Oh my God, I wanted that so bad. Oh my God, we're so stupid we didn't Why get do it. Why don't we get anything? No. We just took it for it. granted. It was like, because you know, we always, always see her. There. Exactly. We're like, hey, girl. I remember when we were kids, you got me a Manzo Laporte tote bag with her face Aww. on it. That was so cute for my b- birthday or something. You're making me sound so nice today. <laughs> I know, right? I like this. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> She's also an ordained minister. No. Yes. Oh my God, really? I mean, that's amazing. If I'm I knew that, I would have flew, flown her out to Greece. I know, you would have done it right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it would have lasted. Maybe marriage would have lasted <laughs> another month. <laughs> How are, you're so Kim Kardashian, is that even funny? <laughs> oh Christ. Actually, wait, who won that battle? I don't know. I think she she might have won because you that was pretty quick, no? Two months is 60. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> math, math, math. <laughs> wah, wah. Moving along. <laughs> Amanda enjoys listening to The Weeknd and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, she's so gangster. I love it. <laughs> she's released many of her own albums and EP. EPs. Oh, right. She has some dance music out. She has a lot of fun songs. She does. I actually. mean, <laughs> she's so much fun. She's amazing. She's the sweetest girl. In the world, best also. laugh, best laugh, most expensive body, and on the sweetest girl. She really is. Uh, when she was asked what's the favorite quality about herself, she said, "I think I'm very warm." And then I listen to people. I think I'm down to earth, and I don't take things too seriously. That That's is true. So true. It is true. She's really sweet. The three things she takes on the road with her when she travels: mm-hmm. lingerie, lipstick. And high heels. Oh, we have so much in common. It's crazy. I love it. Classic. <laughs> she also says she just does her own thing. She really doesn't follow fashion. You know, it's true. She really, she has her own. She's a, she's like a glamorous, like, movie star. So it's kind yeah. of like, you know, bombshell, tight dresses, boobies. She's a brand. Pumps. She is a brand. It's always like, boom, the that's Amanda the look. look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we we'll kind of use that as like something that we say was like, oh, let's give like an Amanda look or yeah. something like that. You know? Well, Jimmy does her dresses. You know, Jimmy, oh. the one that he made the, he made the latex dress from the You Belong video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my God. I remember that dress. That to get dress. you in that dress was like, we were doing like, <laughs> I don't even know what, some sort of crazy. It was like NASCAR. <laughs> yeah, NASCAR. That's what I was just going to say. NASCAR. I was like, oil. Powder, let's do this and getting you in the dress between songs. I was like, holy shit! I remember one time I had the worst idea. I was <laughs> like, I had this fringe dress I would wear, and yes. I loved doing an outfit of change. Yes. So underneath, I decided to put the latex dress underneath. Oh. And slowly during the show, it started to slide towards my stomach. Oh which no. Which then became a rubber band around my stomach. Oh which my god. Which then cut off my breathing passage. Ooh. Which then during performing, I almost fainted on stage. Sounds about right. Never wear latex underneath fringe. No, kids, do not lay your latex. No. I should have asked Amanda. She would have told me. Yeah, she'd be like, girl. So (laughs) she is going to publish her own book of finally her memoir is coming out we've always been like girl you need a memoir oh gosh yes stories girl she's about to spill her own yes, tea yes. in a book entitled doll parts ah. the book will contain photographs of lapore nice. and chronicle her youth rise mm-hmm. to fame and also cover her relationship with her mentally ill mother oh wow her struggles to get along with a father who is not at all comfortable with having a trans child yeah um the memoir will also be about fledgling attempts at romantic relationships Mm -hmm. and the way she financed her first surgeries by selling pasties to strippers. (laughs) I think I was there when that happened. (laughs) I shut it. (laughs) She will also go into an abusive marriage and tell readers about uh, the time her father-in-law who paid for her gender confirmation surgery turned Mm -hmm. around and sexually assaulted her. Jesus Christ. She's been through it. 
God damn it. You know, it. you would never know because she's just so sweet. Yeah, you know, I, she's probably somebody that looks at the brighter side of life and not yeah. dwell on things. She's like, all right, it happens. Yeah. I'm thriving from it. Like, fuck you all. Exactly. I can't wait. I can't wait to read this book. Oh, well, wow. Doll Parts is available now for pre-order Ooh. at barnesandnoble.com. Done. Um, Where's my debit and card? And she also has a perfume available. Um, I love that. Look at her. A new fragrance, so honey. It's called Amanda by Amanda Lepore. Oh, my gosh. And that, I think, is also available for pre-order. We're going to put that link on our Twitter. Yes, for sure. So you can pre-order. She's such a doll. Now. She is a doll. That's a perfect name for that book. She is like a little doll. Doll part. She has a doll, too. It's just like... <laughs> She yeah. can't with I her. I remember I used to work with her at Pat Field. Yes, you did. You guys are friends. She is also hilarious. I remember she has a humor, right? One time, some guys were like shouting through the guys would just pass by and shout things at us through yeah. the store. And they're like, girl, is that all you? And she's like, it's all fake. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh my God, what? <laughs> Do you remember that party we went to? And they- <laughs> oh, yes. I know exactly what party you're going to say. <laughs> oh my God. It was Amanda and it was Sophia Lamar and they had a magic show. And they would come out in this kind of like, um, f- like, um, j- like uh, Jane, like Tarzan and Jane kind of look, like yeah. you know, with with like leopard print, and Amanda wear this like big curly fro and and a bone in their and hair. a bone in their hair, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it was so fun because um, <laughs> so they did this whole, all these tra- uh, magic stuff, and they both sit down. <laughs> They both wa- they both lift out their leg, you know that like you know what the clowns do when they put take out all that fabric from yeah. their sleeve, <laughs> it all comes out of their pussy. <laughs> I love when I say pussy because you see you really hear the p- pussy uh, pussy, uh, and it comes out of their. P- <laughs> and they're like, I mean, we were oh, like, we're like, I'm like. Amazing. Congratulations, girl. I can't. Girl, do that thing you do with your pussy. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. So, yeah. I she, she, she also taught me how to take care of my vagina. Yes, she did. She was like the one who, she was like, girl, you need this cream. Yeah. If you want to get, take bigger dick, you got to like uh, warm it up, honey. She's like, when do I get it? When do I get it now? Exactly. I'm like, tell me everything. everything. Which that pen. actually leads us to our sex talk segment. Oh. So sex talk today has gone size queen. Mm. So we're going to be discussing... Wait, oh. oh, wait. Uh, before we do that... Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Girl, I think it's Lana. Oh. Yeah, girl. I guess it's time for another Lana alert. My pussy tastes My pussy like pussy <laughs> Well, this just in, honey. A fresh. I just got a fax from the Lana Alert staff. Oh my God! Thank God. You know what? I, you know, it's been a, it's been a rough week, and I needed this. I know. Oh my God! Thank God for Lana. I needed this. Where'd she know, get her nails done? What'd she, she go? Uh, well, <laughs> according to the Daily Mail, mm. Lana Del Rey models retro shades and her signature skinnies as she enjoys a lunch with a gal pal in Beverly Hills. Did she have a salad? Did she have a sandwich? I don't know, but she wore a pair of rose-colored retro shades. <laughs> <laughs> denim skinny jeans and a tortoise shell cuff bracelet I do love a tortoise shell you live for a tortoise shell I do shell. love a tortoise shell <laughs> oh my god this is coming in right now oh via satellite oh according to Rolling Stone Lana Del Rey has had some weird dreams lately oh tell me everything this is from Lana's own words they were modern dreams I can't dreaming in modern times really strange I had a dream that I was waiting for someone to find me and in the sky where the stars were supposed to be. It was an Uber map. <laughs> and I was watching this person get further and further away from me, <laughs> where the constellations were supposed to be. And I woke up totally confused. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't with her. All I right, mean, Lana. Lana, I, no one gives a fuck about my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, mine are like always the same ones where I'm like have no teeth or I'm okay. naked or I'm in a car that I can't drive because I can't drive and it's going down the hill. <laughs> the ends. No, oh. Rolling Stone doesn't go a fuck about that. Girl. Not even my mom. She's like, okay, me, honey. <laughs> she gets pressed for any. She leaves her house and it's a press moment. Yeah, she's like, like what's time? Like, tell us anything. She's like, I had a dream. Yeah. <laughs> like, tell us everything. It's like, girl, oh, you imagine she's like, I had such the worst dinner last night. I got like, the shits. I got the runs. 
but my poop looked like stars. <laughs> <laughs> and it smelled like the back of an Uber car. <laughs> but Spotify wasn't working. <laughs> And they drove me to a Lady Gaga concert. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, Lana, okay. thanks for interrupting our sex talk. Yes, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. So today, make you sex talk. Somebody. Sometimes it do. Mm-hmm, <laughs> Sometimes it make you stupid. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so today's theme for sex talk is, does size matter? <laughs> So I did a little. I, I did a little research. Just she to, did all week. I did. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, girl, you don't have to bring work home. <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing this for us. I'm doing this for us. I'm just kidding. My glass is empty, oh girl. shit! What's happening? This so, wine is everything. It really is. An amigo from Argentina. An amigo from Argentina. I swear to God, that's the name of the last guy I fucked in Argentina. You know what? I'm not surprised. <laughs> Elamingo. Elamingo Martinez. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah. I went back into history to get, solve this riddle, honey. I love when you do history. You know, because we got our PhD. Yes. <laughs> and peen. <laughs> <laughs> so, I figured I'd go back in history to do some research. Go on. And someone did actually did the research for me. Mm-hmm. And they were investigating why some Asian statues have tiny penises. Uh, you know, and by ancient statues, we mean the Greek and Roman statues. And by statue, we mean the six train. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great example. <laughs> um, well, firstly, all you know, all the statues that are in the, yeah. in the museums, they're all yes. flaccid. Very. Right. So secondly, um, cultural values right. about male beauty were completely different back then. Mm. Today, big penises are seen as valuable and manly. But back then, most evidence points to the fact that small penises were considered bigger, <laughs> better than the big ones. Oh. Um, they Do even they have on... a really large tongue? Do we, don't, we don't see that they have really large tongues in these, <laughs> in these statues. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, uh, let me see your fingers. <laughs> they went on to suggest that small penises were more culturally valued than large penises. Large right. penises were associated with uh, very specific characteristics like foolishness, lust, and ugliness. Okay. I mean, men can't be foolish when they have a hard on. Yeah, I see. We see it every day in the streets. Mm-hmm. You know how many times I've been flashing this city with a hard girl. dick flapping, flapping in front of me. It's always funny when guys are like howling at this in the streets like animals. You're like, oh my god, you really can't control yourself. I you it really hilarious. can't. Yeah, it's. I think it's hilarious it's like the, too. It's really the proof that men are not in control of their sexual, their chemical yeah, upbringing you know what they I mean? really can't poor things they all need a hormone shot yeah <laughs> <laughs> remember they were thought about doing like jerk off stations in the city where you could go in like in a booth and jerk off and like okay done i thought that Oof, was my I apartment think- <laughs> 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 yeah. aka nobody's wah, apartment wah. <laughs> um well I mean, I think it's because the blood rushes from the brain to the penis when they get a heart on. So yeah. they're like, right, that's when you get them to shred the prenup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, baby, you know you really love me. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I fucking love you. Can Sorry. I just, like, can I put it in your butt? Like, well, how do you want to do this? Like, totally. <laughs> uh, well, the ideal Greek man was rational, intellectual, and mm-hmm. authoritative. Okay. And they were shown with small penises because it allowed them to remain cool and logical. Okay. If they say so. <laughs> were they really Greek? <laughs> exactly. I did that research. Yeah. You, yeah, you've done some extensive research on that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we think? Um, I think that, you know, <laughs> I think most people who, who uh, kind of feel like insecure about their, their peen size will, you, you know... Like I'm smart, I can eat well, and I can, I remember one time I obviously a long time ago, but um, he was like, I'm a small dick, but I can eat really good pussy. Someone tell you this? Yes. What did you? I, do? Well, I went to his house. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my god! I was like, what train was that again? I mean, I prefer smaller these days. 
This is different. This is different. This is new <clears throat> for you. Yes. Yeah. I Go. think it's because of the vagina. Yeah. I just feel she's so precious to me. Wait, you're like Jessica. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to keep her nice and tight. Mm-hmm. Right I want to keep is. her at 18, not 25. You know, she was expensive. Or 35. Yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> it's like when you have a Jaguar. Yeah. Don't like, scratch it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you're over six foot seven. If you're this high, dude, you're, you're not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a size queen at all. I'm just happy to be nominated. <laughs> Right. And by nominated, she means just to receive a text. <laughs> like last week, can you please text me? No, well, sometimes they're too big. Right. I mean, I've, re- I've seen some of these things. It's just like... Like on the, on the kind of dick? Yeah, it's just like you can only give head so much. Well, That's the only hole it's going to go in. Your mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta walk. And yeah, you have to be careful. You got vocals. It's in that bust. <laughs> uh, mm. Pussy before vocals. <laughs> well, recently they did the first penis transplant. Ah, this is interesting. This is so cool. Yeah. Thomas Manning, he had his penis removed because of cancer. Okay. So he received one of the first penis transplants in the United States. Cool. If vocals is planned, yeah. Normal urination should be possible for Mr. Manny. Cool. How within about a, how about coming? Do you think is he going to be able to come? Well, within a few weeks, <laughs> <laughs> sexual function should happen in from weeks to months. Okay. Wow, like that's a kind of uh, that's a big deal to have like in, like have that surgery now because you know there's accidents there's you know uh, you know um, psycho bitches psycho bitches like Lorena Bobbitt. Bobbitt yeah um, there's all sorts of things that can happen and the fact that you can get like a new dick you know be like oh you know like th- I mean I'm an organ donor in my, in my shit in my fucking ID so imagine like you could throw the piss the dick in there now like, you know like hey we got a dick that j- <laughs> that's <laughs> we got a home for it yo <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I just thought about the woman that like he ends up getting like head and he's like, she's like, wait, have we met? <laughs> wait, like, you look familiar. I, you look for like this dick looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I sucked this one before. Oh, sure. Imagine that would be crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, good for them. <laughs> the cost for this is fifty thousand dollars to seventy five thousand. Whoa. That's more than a pussy. That is more than a pussy. Well, good for them. Um, there are also penis implants. Oh, you know how many guys that say, I wish my dick was an inch dig- bigger or my, I wish my dick was this? See, this is this. some porn star shit. Yeah, it is. This is like Julian. Do you know yeah. Julian? I'm, I know his work. <laughs> <laughs> I swear he has an implant. How do you know, it. though? Is it is like, like is there a dent? It's just so beautiful. Oh. In my head, it's fake. Because it's too good. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, so there are silicone penis implants, which add two inches to girth and length. Okay. And they last a lifetime. Um, A silicone implant, it's inserted into the penis during the $13,000 procedure. Okay. a little more reasonable. Okay. According to Dr. Ellist, Mm -hmm. patients have the option of choosing between three implant sizes for the procedure. Large, extra large, and double extra large. Oh. He <laughs> explained, nobody wants to have a small or medium one. Well, I, obviously, I mean, if you're going to go for it, you know, you might as well have a, like, go like go for the extra mile, you know? It's like, you know what? I'm going to have six. Let's do ten. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> it's like those girls I mean, that go in for a C and they go out with a double D. <laughs> You know, she's like, you know, I'm here. I'm I mean, here. Yeah, let's, 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 let's just do this. Let's just do this. Anyway, so it's similar. They said it's similar to breast implants. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, but breast implants have a, a bag filled with silicone gel or some in some cases saline. Right. He says his implants they're different. They're not filled with anything. The material is very soft silicone, and the shape it's with the shape of the penis. Okay. It covers the penis for 270 degrees around. Oh, well, the whole length so. of the penis. Okay. The implant is inserted through a small incision of an inch to an inch and a half in the groin. Mm. The patient's under local anesthesia, unable to feel anything that's happening, but they can watch. Oof, I don't want to see that shit. Bro, that's local anesthesia. Dang, that's not cool. Mm-mm. I want to be knocked the fuck out. 
Girl. Like, I'm knocked out for a fucking take out my tooth. I want to be knocked out for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, immediately after the procedure, the penis will have expanded one and a half to two and a half inches. Some patients, unfortunately, are born with tight skin or when they have circumcisions, a lot mm-hmm. of the skin is removed. So they don't have enough skin. Oh, so they can't. They're not eligible for this procedure. No, he says, but patients that have that have the good skin. Mm, that good skin. Like Becky with the good hair. <laughs> Dick with the good skin. <laughs> Billy with the good skin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Billy with the good skin. <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's what we're gonna say whenever someone's uncut. <laughs> Billy with the good skin. <laughs> Code word. Do you have a preference, a cut or uncut? I don't. Me either. It's like potato potato. I feel like uncut, you can like jerk, jerk it better, better and you yeah. don't have to spit on it so exactly. much. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. need it. We need. We need that sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of Jason, Jasmine Sinclair. Mm. Love her. We got to do a whole feature on her. Where, Where is, is she? she? <laughs> <laughs> Remember <laughs> that you had her porn? It was her I was and obsessed um, with her. you were obsessed with her. Didn't she fucked like five hundred guys? Five hundred guys in one night. And then uh, there was other one, Candy Apple. She was the same video. No, well, she came with the double feature. Right. She was extra. Yeah, she was extra. Anyway. So, really watch a lot of porn. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> patients for getting uh, penis implants, they must abstain from sexual activities, including masturbation and oral sex, for four to six weeks Good afterwards. That. Really? Yeah. I don't know anybody who doesn't masturbate for <laughs> waits that long, but I guess what a procedure. If you got stitches, don't touch it. I mean, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Anyway, there are ways that you can achieve a larger penis. Go on. Uh, without having surgery. Mm-hmm. Just a momentary moment. Right. Some of my favorite techniques have been using cock rings. Yes. My first boyfriend <laughs> put me onto this. Oh, Yeah. Shout out to you. Send out to you, you, a.k.a. you. Congratulations on your new marriage. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, for those of you not familiar with cock rings, this is how they work. Yes, go on. Uh, The blood flows to and from the body to the penis. Yeah. The tissue of the penis fills with blood during arousal and the cock ring, it traps the blood in the penis Mm. as the engorged tissue compresses the veins (laughs) that normally... (laughs) <laughs> it's hot. That's I'm, why, honey. Yeah, it's hot. The seasons have changed. Shit, so I'm like rubbing against this chair. <laughs> slipping off. I'm slipping off. <laughs> so as the engorged tissue compresses the veins that normally allow blood to flow back from the penis to the rest of the body, thus a powerful erection inc- occurs. Nice. That's like some major shit. Cause it I, makes it veiny. Veiny and pops. And like hard and yeah. thicker. Fucking um, awesome. Well, a safe limit for wearing a cock ring is 30 minutes. I would say so. To an hour. Okay. With uh, a properly fitting cock ring and constant erection. Okay. So, t- do you need lube to put this on, or you just do it? What w- do you do, do no. it when you're flaccid? Or they advise. Um, I'm actually gonna get to that. Oh, okay. There are flexible cock rings, actually. Ah, okay. Because and then there are rigid cock rings. Right. I prefer the rigid ones made of steel. Dang. That's just because she's expensive. That's how I started off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little S and M. TBT. Um. <laughs> So there is a procedure to wearing the co- the cock ring. Okay. This is all according to Cock Ring 101 on a reddit.com. Oh, I love it. I did my research. You do. <laughs> <laughs> so they say it helps to have a loose sagging testicles. Oh. So people often put it on while in the shower. After a hot water, after the hot water has loosened up their scrotum. A little bit of slippery soap helps. Stay away from using lube on the ring because it can cause the ring to accidentally slip back off. Ooh. And it ends up in a pussy or something. Girl. Oh, right? Oh, my God. That's one of those things. Remember someone said that they found a denim sleeve in her pussy? Yes, that was from Joey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joey. Joey. We love you. Shout out. Shout out to Joey. Um, so I suggest, <laughs> I mean, if for further instructions, if you're more curious about this cock ring situation, there's, there, the, the instructions went on for days yes so you can go we're gonna post that on our twitter yeah we'll post we'll post it yeah and if you honestly if you don't have enough money for an engagement ring try a cock ring <laughs> <laughs> she'll shut up <laughs> yeah. Ava really, you know you always know how to compromise i i, I always do You're a good girlfriend <laughs> i you know i try to be <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah our twitter is allegedly nyc just you'll find all this 401 there yeah, I love that. I suggest using the brushed stainless steel cock ring. Okay. 
That you can purchase from maleessentials.com. It's $16.95. Oh, she's reasonable. Um, if you're off put by the steel, a lot, a lot of guys are scared of it. I try to get my ex to wear the the metal cock ring. He yeah, was just not having it. He wasn't. He's like, he I'm not putting that. He's like, you're crazy, bitch. Yeah, I was like, it's like what? I put it in the microwave and want to burn your cock. <laughs> Hence, why you got divorced. That was. Good. <laughs> um, well, if you if you're afraid of the steel, right? There is a silicone three ring kit. Oh, which you can get from perfectfitbrand.com. Cool. They also have an array of gorgeous, gorgeous cock rings. Right. They have some that are like cock ring armor. It kind of like hugs your whole groin and your oh, sat. It's amazing. That sounds awesome. Yeah. You, I could also suggest a scrunchie. <laughs> that for you on a real budget. That's the Banji Boy <laughs> version. <laughs> of course you would bring up that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the... If you're the mistress, girl, don't leave that scrunchy behind. Ava. Ava. <laughs> you won't get caught, girl. Get your scrunchy back. Get your scrunchy back. Um, like, Shit, I left my scrunchy on his fucking dick again. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine who scrunches that. <laughs> Why is there scrunchy on your dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, last but not least, I discovered something that's Ooh. fucking amazing. I didn't even know this existed. Okay, go, go, go. I love my new job. <laughs> Um, it's an assgasm penis ring plug by Adam and Eve. These motherfuckers have combined the effect of a penis ring and an anal plug. Work. So the wearer is nothing short of a total orgasmic joy. Ugh. According to them, as the ring keeps you harder, the plug drives your prostate crazy. So when it's time to climax, expect fireworks. It comes with a free five-piece anal prep kit. <laughs> so you can get started the moment it arrives. Damn right. Girl. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I need. I really have to get my ass together here. I mean, no pun intended. Well, we can use. You can. You're, you can offer this to a partner. Though. Yeah, a partner. He'd be yeah. like, "Look That's what I got." All for his pleasure. That sounds like fun. I mean, you I'd even be like down. wear it and walk around, just like like, hey, I'm making a sandwich. No one would you want know. one. Yeah. He's like, I'm fingering my frosty right now. <laughs> I just made a grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> And came five and times. And came five times. What'd you do today? <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> so an alternative to the cock ring is the penis pump. Mm. <laughs> I love a penis pump. Now the penis pump, I'm, I'm, not, pump I'm, not, up. I'm not familiar with the penis pump. I have never used a penis pump, but no. I, I've seen it on uh, porn porn sites and mm. stores and stuff. And right. I, it looks interesting, but I don't know how realistic it is. And how long does it last for? I know nothing. Well, it works by creating a vacuum around the penis, causing the blood vessels that are associated and associated muscles to expand as blood is drawn into them by the vacuum. Hoover that cock. What I did discover, though, is a technique where you can combine the pump and the cock ring. Oh! So what you do is you pump up your dick. Right. And then you slide on the cock ring so it just holds all the blood you just pumped into it. And it's just like, boom! Okay, I need to get rammed. (laughs) It is hot in here. I'm sore, it's sweating. Talk, it's, got it's got extra. It's got extra. I mean, and it's like, it, when it's the summertime, you want to like hump everything. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, I mean. Oh God, tis the season, Tis yo. the season. You can get your hands on the Adonis pump for twenty two thirty nine. That price is random. They take debit? <laughs> it's like PayPal. <laughs> I think they do take PayPal. Femmo? <laughs> you can get that on EdenFantasies.com. Fantasies is spelled S Y S at the end. Oh, different. Um, they say it comes with two different inserts, one of which can be used separately as a masturbation sleeve. It has Cute. a quick release purge valve to keep things from getting out of hand, Whew. so to speak. All good parts that come together to make a real useful penis pump. Oh my God, that sounds like fun. That does sound like fun. I'm all about the fun things. See, I like boys that like to experiment with Yeah, like why not? Let's have fun. Bring in a paper bag full of tricks and see where it goes. <laughs> you know? I got wine. Wine and spirits. Wine and spirits. Com. Wine and spirits dot com. Thank you for today's uh, an amigo. An amigo. This is fabulous. This is really good. This is really good wine. Girl, we shouldn't even be eating steak throughout this whole shit, I guess. Ooh. Mm. That would sound awful, though. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a 
cow sound like a cow <laughs> anyway that's all we have for today oh my god that's it we'd finish i know we're done oh my god that was so much fun that was really fun well i had a great time it's hot the city's booming we're mm-hmm. about to kick off the summer it's gonna be yeah it's, i think it's gonna be a sexy summer, it's be a sexy about you. summer. don't we, forget to follow us on instagram because we're gonna be posting us. all the parties that are happening yes. every week yeah it's gonna be fun everything that's hot and popping yes where we'll probably be too hanging out yeah you can always you know contact us talk to us we're not shy we're actually kind of nice girls sometimes sometimes <laughs> with a head tilt with a head tilt and a, and a cocktail <laughs> it's better to just email us yeah just email us allegedly nyc at gmail.com yeah yeah yeah, it'll be fun. Oh, yeah, definitely contact us. We're actually going to start a new segment called Ask Ava. Oh, we are? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yes. want to know what I feel? Send your questions. You know, dear Abby, it's very that. Like, Ava's going to help you solve all your pro- relationship problems, sex problems, money problems, any fucking problems. We have 99 problems. A bitch Email ain't us one. at allegedlynyc at gmail.com. In the subject, just write Ask Ava and put your question to Ava, and we will answer it here on our podcast. And oh, that'll be it fun. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can we call it like Ava in the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> and now even in the afternoon <laughs> so we're gonna do our tradition of leaving you off with some freestyle yeah. and today is little Susie. oh shit and it's what's the name of the song i i chose because i couldn't i take couldn't narrow it down me, take me in your arms see we're singing too good we we'll stop it and, oh, yeah. <laughs> we should really start a band we should start a band because i can't sing another one yeah oh yeah um so yeah enjoy let me be so hot, steaming, freestyle. Freestyle's hot in the summer. That's it what really it's meant is. to be played. Oh my God. It really is. Here you go. Let's do this, yo. Take me in your arms. See you. Susie. Talk to you next week. Ciao, baby. Bye. Have Bye. a good week. Bye. You're listening to Allegedly NYC.
who allegedly NYC. Allegedly.